So let's look at the conductivity of the heart for a moment. If the heart rate originates in the SA node, it'll have an intrinsic rate of 80 and will show a clear and upright P wave on the EKG tracing. If the heart rate originates in the ventricles, it will have an intrinsic rate less than 40 and the rhythm will be a wide and bizarre complex. In the event that there's a complete heart block with the total blockage of atrial firing and ventricular firing, you'll have an atrial rate of 80 and a ventricular rate less than 40, and it'll show clear and upright P waves that march out consistently, but also wide and bizarre complexes from the ventricular rate. The atrial rate will pan out at 80, and the ventricular rate will be much slower. We can see the P waves marching out across the tracing with an approximate rate of 80. And we can see the QRS complexes, wide and bizarre, marching out across the tracing with an approximate rate of 35. And so we can conclude that this is a third degree or complete heart block. Remember, your patient is considered unstable if they have hypotension causing compromise, significantly altered mental status, acute pulmonary edema, or chest pain indicative of a heart attack.